What's up guys, War here. Today I'm gonna to show you what you need to upgrade for your weapon and how to spend your blood shards for the wizard class at the start of season 27. Let's get right into it. So at the start of every single season, you're gonna to wanna to complete the challenge rift. Now I'm popping up on the screen right now, all of the rewards that you're gonna get from completing the weekly challenge rift. You're gonna be able to complete these once a week and these are gonna be the same rewards you get each time. Now with all of these blood shards and all of these mats, we're gonna be able to do a couple things. So. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to craft a level 70 rare weapon and we're going to want to upgrade it and we're going to try to get something really good for the wizard and we're also going to spend all 475 blood shards to get a couple items so here's what i think is going to be the best things that you should upgrade for and gamble for for the wizard class so let's hop right into it all right when it comes to crafting weapons it's pretty straightforward for the wizard they don't have a lot of options so here's what i think is going to be best uh, you're going to want to craft a wand Okay, you're gonna wanna get one of these three wands, starting with the Fragment of Destiny because your signature spells attack faster and deal triple damage. You're gonna wanna get the Unstable Scepter for increased arcane orb damage or the Serpent Sparker, which increases damage for Hydras. Okay, any one of these three wands is gonna be your best options. You're gonna end up getting a fourth wand or possibly the Chantoto's Will. If you end up getting Chantoto's Will, that kind of sucks. I mean, you're gonna be, you know, I would probably try to keep this and just use it for a level 70 weapon maybe because you can't really extract the power so hopefully you don't get that but you should get one of these three and four wands hopefully it's one of these three and any of them are really good the wizard doesn't really have a a dominant weapon that you're going to be using but any one of the wands is going to be great so now when it comes to spending blood shards at kadala there's going to be a couple options that is best for the wizard First, I'm going to suggest the Ashen Guard's Blood Bracers for the potency increase to your shields. This is by far the best thing that you're going to get. You're going to be able to use these items at level 16, which is fantastic. You do this with Storm Armor or Energy Armor, and it absolutely just keeps you alive. It's probably the best thing that you can gamble for at Kadala. Now, if you get these relatively early and you still have some Blood Shards left, the next thing that I suggest is Winner's Flurry. Winner's Flurry you can also use at level 16. Okay, at level one, you're gonna be able to get it at level 16 and be able to use it. Increases the damage of Hydras and increases cold damage. Now, if you happen to get the Serpent Sparkler and then you pair it with the Winner's Flurry, you're gonna be doing a crap ton of damage. Now, the odds of this happening are very low, but if you do get the duo combo, then it's great. The only bummer when it comes to doing Hydras is that you don't get Hydras until 21. That is the only bummer. You don't get to use it right off the bat, so you do have to gain some levels early on to get to 21, so that way you get the huge power boost from your abilities. So that's probably the only negative when it comes to getting Winner's Flurry, and I think that's what deters a lot of people from gambling for this. But if you do get the Scepter, or the Sparker, I mean, then pairing this with Winner's Flurry is pretty good, and that should jump you all the way to 60, or excuse me, 70, no problem. The next thing I would try to get is Pox Falls, if you guys wanna do these. Uh, you know, when there's a bunch of enemies around on T6, you get increased damage for all the enemies that are within 12 yards. Poison damage for five seconds. These are really, really good. And just just a really good defensive boost when you're kind of, you know, bouncing around with the wizard. Because early on, the wizard is kind of, you know, uh, squishy. So having the pox falls is really good. I would definitely do the Ashgard Blood Bracers first and then roll for one of these after second. Now, if you don't want any of these or you just want to get these you know the bracers and then roll for something else something that's really good is you get a leoric signet in the rings you could try to roll for one of those to get more um exp or you could roll for the uh leoric's crown for more exp you could do any one of those things but these are the suggestions that i have for the wizard when you're upgrading your weapon and then gambling at kadala so in these orders i would probably go with fragment unstable scepter then the sparker and then Blood Racers for sure, Winner's Flurry, and then Pox Bolt. Obviously, the weapon is just kind of random, which is cool. brings in RNG, but any one of these is really good. And then all you're going to do is come over to the cube and throw it in here. Okay? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Those are the options that I have for the Wizard guys. So hopefully, if you are playing Wizard next season, this will really help you guys out in determining how you're going to get a huge jump start into Season 27. So... If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like as it really does help me out. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the love you guys have been showing me has been crazy. I'm not going to stop saying that in any of my videos. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And of course, as always, stay gaming, guys, and I'll catch you in the next class video. Peace.